Mario is kind of a mystery. We know very little about his background, where he's come from, and critically, his family. There's obviously Luigi, his brother, but even that's a bit inconsistent. It used to be that Luigi was Mario's younger brother by a few years, but now they're supposed to be twins. But that's just one family member. Does Mario have any parents, aunts, uncles, cousins? Well, in order to find out, I dug through the games, the comics, and the TV shows, all to answer the question, who are Mario's parents? So, if we want to figure out the identity of Mario's parents, we need to travel back to the time of Mario's birth, or rather, when a stork delivered him and Luigi to their parents. In the game Yoshi's Island, we see this stork carrying baby Mario and baby Luigi on their way to their parents. Except, the villain Carmek intercepts them on this journey, and steals Luigi. You, as Yoshi, have to carry baby Mario around while searching for the missing baby Luigi. If you complete the game, the stork is able to carry the reunited babies off to their waiting parents. And this is where we get our first look at Mario and Luigi's parents. Or rather, our first glimpse. As you can see, we only get to see the parents' silhouettes, and the camera is positioned so that only the lower half of these parents is even visible. But this does confirm that Mario and Luigi have two parents. They do exist. Decades later though, the game Yoshi's New Island shows these same events in a bit more detail. The game opens with a recap of the events of Yoshi's Island, but they're recreated in 3D. And so, here is the scene featuring Mario and Luigi's parents, except this time they're 3D models, not flat 2D sprites. And that means that you can actually go into the game's files to examine these parents in a lot more detail. So, I did that. It was hard. <laughs> I spent three hours navigating old forum posts and downloading sketchy software until... Ta-da! I managed to extract the 3D models of both the mother and the father. And they don't have heads. Yeah, so that's not exactly surprising. The game never shows their heads in that cutscene, so why would the developers go to the trouble of modeling them? But we can get a much better look at the rest of their body. If we focus on Mario's mother for a second, first she has an animation where she walks up to the door, and then there's also an animation of surprise. The father also has his own walking animation, and one for when he's surprised too. Except, returning to Yoshi's New Island itself, if you keep watching that opening cutscene, there's actually a plot twist. It turns out that the stork made a mistake, and these are actually not Mario and Luigi's parents after all. So, the stork continues on its way, in search of Mario and Luigi's actual parents. And, at the very end of the game, we finally get a glimpse of the true parents. Again, they're 3D models, so we can go into the game's files to get a much better look at them. Except, these are actually the same models used for the fake parents. That's right, the positions of the mother and father are switched around, I guess so it's less obvious to players, but digging around in the game's files, there's definitely only a single mother model and a single father model. So, it's no wonder the stork delivered the babies to the wrong family. They're indistinguishable from the real family. <laughs> So that's all we get from the games. A little glimpse, and that's it, really. Next, let's turn to the comics. Now, again, very little detail is given here, but there is one time when both Mario's mother and father can be seen. Uh, sort of. One of the biggest Mario comics of the 80s and 90s was called Nintendo Comics System. And there was a one-page comic published in 1990 called Family Album The Early Years, which shows some events from the early lives of Mario and Luigi. Let me show you what's on this page. 
Some babies are born bald, but Mario was born with a full head of hair, and a full face too. Little Mario showed a talent for plumbing at a very early age. Oh, pause for a second. Ta-da! It's Mario's mother! Yes, her face is strategically covered up by a big burst of water, but this is definitely her. Okay, let's continue. He even fixed his father's pipe. And there's the father. Again, this drawing is framed very carefully so as not to show Mario's father's face, but this is definitely the father. Now, there's no other mention of the parents here, but the last two panels are still interesting and horrific, so let's look at them too. Mario led the neighborhood softball league in home runs. Here's a picture of Mario with his lucky bat. Mario's interest in plumbing grew, and by the time his baby brother Luigi was born, he could fix almost any leak. So that's the whole thing. Certainly an interesting look at Mario's uh, unique childhood, and also a rare glimpse at Mario's parents. Rare, but not unique to this comic. Only one year earlier, an anime short was released on VHS called Super Mario Issenboshi. Issenboshi is a famous Japanese fairy tale about a couple who wished for a child and were blessed with a son who was only one inch tall. And Super Mario Issenboshi is a retelling of that fairy tale, but with Mario characters instead of the actual ones. So Mario is only one inch tall in this anime VHS. And we also get just a tiny glimpse at the parents once more. Here's Mama Mario's feet as she towers over the tiny Mario, and then here's Papa Mario as he holds his son in his hands. While the feet of Mario's mother don't really tell us anything at all, this shot of Mario and his father is pretty interesting, since we get at least a tiny look at the father's face. It appears to be very similar to Mario's face, with a big moustache and kind of pudgy cheeks. <laughs> However, Super Mario Issenboshi is definitely not canon. Mario is not actually one inch tall, and this was not the story of his childhood. So whether these are canonically his real parents is pretty dubious, but I think it warrants mention nonetheless. So far, we've not really seen very much. The edges of a face, a couple of silhouettes, a pair of feet, it's all pretty unhelpful. But if we move slightly further away from what is considered canon, then we can finally get some more information about Mario and Luigi's larger family. And that comes to us courtesy of the one and only It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! So if you've spent any time on the internet, you'll likely know about the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. It was a TV program that aired in 1989 in America, and it contained a mixture of cartoon sections alongside live action. Luigi was played by Canadian actor Danny Wells, while Mario was played by professional wrestler Lou Albano, aka Captain Lou. <laughs> a legendary cast, truly. So, Mario and Luigi make brief references to their parents on the odd occasion, but nothing very major. Until, that is, the live action segment Mamma Mia Mario. The episode opens with Mario and Luigi lounging around when, all of a sudden, they get a call from their mother. Mario Brothers Plumbing, you clog them, we clear them. <laughs> oh. Mario himself steps out the back door to take out the rubbish when, all of a sudden, Mama Mario shows up at the door. And when the door opens, Mama. Here she is, Mama Mario. Take it all in, the clothes, the voice, in case it wasn't immediately obvious, Mama Mario is indeed played by Captain Lou, Mario's actor. Now, Mama Mario appears throughout this episode, only ever interacting with Luigi for obvious reasons. Then, at the end of the episode, 
She leaves, Mario returns, and then there's another knock on the door. This time, Luigi has to go take care of something out the back, and then... <laughs> the door opens to reveal Aunt Luigina. And yes, she is indeed played by Danny Wells, the guy who plays Luigi. From a production standpoint, I love that instead of coming up with some complex effect that would allow Mario to appear alongside his mother, they just get Mario to leave the room every time Mama Mario appears, and vice versa with Luigi and Aunt Luigina. Now, Mama Mario appears in one other episode of The Super Show, this time during a flashback to Mario and Luigi's childhoods. Interestingly, this time they do have her appear alongside Mario himself, but she is still played by Lou Albano. It's just they never have Mama Mario face towards the camera, so you can't see her face. She was performed by a body double, and then later Captain Lou went back and dubbed over all her lines with his own voice. This is how the illusion of Mama Mario was kept up. Very crafty. What about other family members then? Well, we already saw Aunt Luigina, but she's just the beginning. There's a whole episode featuring Mario and Luigi's cousins, Mariana and Luigina, not the same as Aunt Luigina. Again, they're played by Captain Lou and Danny Wells, and again, Mario and Luigi are mysteriously absent for the whole episode. The same is true for the episode featuring Mario Joe and Luigi Bob, another pair of Mario and Luigi's cousins. That's all the relatives who appear in the show itself, but there's also been a Grandma Mario, a Grandma Mia, and an Uncle Tony. And then in other media, there's also a Grandpapa and an Aunt Maria. And then finally, there's Marilyn, who is Mario and Luigi's niece, and the only relative from Super Show who was not played by the actors of Mario and Luigi. Oh, and finally, she also has a mother too. And there's a tray! There's a tray! Nintendo of America released an official Super Mario Bros. tray. And there's a painting on the wall of a man who looks like an older version of Mario, and might be Mario's father. Maybe. I don't know. It's only a tray. <laughs> it's only a tray. Uh, thank you for watching. Sorry for the chaos that this descended into. If you want to hear about Peach's strange and canonically dubious family, I've made a video about that too. It's on screen right now, and I'll see you next week. Bye!